This was Coach Barry Burkett's first semester as a head coach for the EKU men's rugby team. I was jogging last fall, and as I was jogging across campus, uh, it was during the student recruitment period of time, and some of the ruggers were out there just tossing the ball around, and one of them tossed it to me as I passed, and I threw it back at them, I guess, with some skill, and they asked me if I, had, if I wanted to play rugby, to which I was like, yes, but I'm way too old. And, um, but then it was from that just kept on eating at me and I asked them if they if they were looking for volunteers to help out in other ways. And then just slowly built from there. Catherine and Carter do, yes. They, they both very much support me and it's a labor of love for them because Carter has really no clue what's going on with rugby and neither does Catherine. Um, they're their interest in rugby is basically supporting me and being out there with me, which is, which is nice. And I really hate it for them because um, when I'm coaching, I'm very much intent on what's happening in the game and not really focusing on them. It's kind of unfair to them, but I appreciate them being out with me. Oh, Brock, get over that ball! Why are you waiting? Pull down! What is feather uh, fast as the wind? Where the men, when, once we're all talking, we start talking about game strategy. Everybody gets into a ring with Josh, the team captain, getting in the middle and starting the chant of loud as a feather, uh, fast as the wind. And he starts kind of jumping around and touching different people on the team and different people kind of come in and just forms like this quick, little jumping mosh pit with everybody coming into the center of it. And rugby is a beautiful sport that is all about the individual person's understanding on, on the pitch, right? So although I'm there on the, on the sidelines, I'm trying to tell players what to do, it's not about me. The player is two minutes, two 40 minute halves of continuous play. And it's really up to the players on the pitch to understand the game and to use what they understand of the game to affect change. Um, there is leadership on the, uh, on the pitch that is helping that out, but it is very much about those decisions being made. A lot of people liken it to American football, and I think that there are similarities, especially because of the hits. In American football, yardage is what matters. Getting 10 yards is what allows for an offense to continue moving down the pitch. In rugby, though, it's more about the ebb and the flow of the play. You can be losing ground 20 meters, keep it on losing, and all of a sudden you're able to set your stand and continue that push forward and have that opposition falling back and falling back and falling back. And so it is a sport that's very much about exploiting what your opposition, well, exploiting your opposition's weaknesses, using the decisions of the players on the pitch, and working together for, for that end result. And so it's, it's a lot of fun to watch. At, at EKU, what I do is instructional design. So I help people think about ways to relay information and to build systems so that everybody has the same knowledge of information at the end of it. As an instructional designer for the university, his career allows him to work with professors by relaying their coursework in the online environment. Before working in instructional design, he was an instructor for adult students trying to obtain their GED and prepare for college. Education has always been a passion of his. Um, I'm a proud father to Carter. We have a good time together. In his free time, Barry spends time with his son Carter and girlfriend Catherine. They enjoy outdoor activities together. His family supports his love for rugby and his role as a head coach. They can often be found attending the games cheering on Coach Burkett. <laughs> 